I'm Brandon Elkins. I'm a student here at Shawnee State University. I'm a sociology major. I moved to Portsmouth back in 2016 when uh, I, I went through treatment here. I worked a minimum wage job and just went to meetings and stay clean that way, building healthy relationships and just learn from other people. College was never part of the plan. I cooked for like 13 years, thought that that was going to be it. But really, I'm not going to lie, college kind of became one of my recovery pathways. I, I do 12 steps and then I went to college, all that information and finding ways to apply it. And it's all interrelated really between psychology, 12 steps, sociology. It's just about how to treat people and, you know, be productive. <laughs> having the patience and having some place to stay, uh, a continued supportive environment, accountability, which is provided by all of the houses that you would be required to stay in, you know, with the drug test and going to group and continuing your, your, some sort of psychoeducational groups and stuff like that. But mainly just taking the time to let the new life reveal itself. It gave me a safe place. I didn't have to worry about going home and not having a place to stay. Uh, I didn't know, I just didn't know how to live. I, I was able to hang out long enough here in Portsmouth and get and, and start interacting with like the recovery community and everything here because of uh, the transitional housing. That transitional housing was after I was done with inpatient programming. I moved to a house where I had to do 90 more days of group, which was just three days a week. Uh, but other than that, group was over around noon, and then I, I would walk to Hickey's and go to work then, and then I would come home from Hickey's and go to a meeting, go to bed, and repeat. Building a routine, more or less, is what I was doing. Uh, I would say really important. After I got into my active addiction, I didn't work a lot, and I really didn't have a plan for any of my days. And uh, so the routine was like, it was good because I got used to getting up early and I had to do my groups at a specific time so that I could go to work and it all worked together. We were all transitional clients, recovering addicts, and, and we supported each other. We understood each other. We talked recovery. We went to meetings together. Actually, my roommate that I had in transitional is still my roommate today. He's very supportive. He's... I couldn't ask for a better roommate. Kind of sober living home or a transitional home. The, the service itself is, is saving lives. I, I don't mean to be so dramatic about it, but it's saving people's lives. Uh, I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for transitional housing. It gives people a chance to still be in a structured environment with accountability while practicing the things they learned in treatment. Because a lot of treatments, if they go back home, they're expected to just retain and use everything they learned, but they're not able to ease into that process. They have to just all of a sudden know how to practice the stuff that they've been learning. And it just, it change doesn't happen that fast. I was in transitional when I uh, started school. I would sit on the porch every morning and stare at the college. And now I'm a senior, I'll graduate like within by the end of this year, I'll be graduated. Maybe this summer. I'm Brandon Elkins. I'm a student at Shawnee State University. As of today, it's been three years and 10 months and some change.